as the UK government and others are reviewing various travel restrictions. The chief executive of Radisson Hotels has told me he's confident the company can survive a long, cold winter, even if restrictions and travel slows down. Federico Gonzalez says even after a summer season boost, business has not yet recovered to where it was before the pandemic. I sat down with him at the Mayfair Hotel in London for an exclusive interview when he told me the company can get back to making money next year. The summer has been better than Q1 and Q2, uh, quarter one and quarter two. However, I mean, as you say, we're still well below where we used to be. Okay? I think quarter four looks uh, slightly better, you know, around 10 points across the world. Uh, and I think uh, we will enter into possibly what is the most difficult quarter that is, is January, March next year, with what is traditionally a low period uh, into, into 22. Uh, and I think, uh, I think the good thing is we have had the experience of the last two years to manage, to try to flexibilize as much as we can cost, uh, to try to adapt and be very flexible to however the market is doing. And of course, I've seen some of the imaginative things you're planning on doing. Yes. The converting of rooms, yes. the, 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 so that they can become meeting rooms. Yes. The the uh, the shifting of the revenue model, yes. so that you can do. It. How long can you keep this up? I mean, how long before you've got to make money? No, I, well, I, I think uh, I think next year we should be making money, twenty two. And why is because I think we have been able first to, you know, to control very seriously, okay, the cost the cost base of the company. Then hopefully, you know, I think as we see revenues coming back we will be more efficient okay, into making sure we are the right cost okay, at, in, the, in the right place. And, and actually, this period has made us question many things. Even if we were one of the best GOP uh, companies in, when, you know, in the hotels where we operate, actually this has helped us to rethink everything, how many people and how many costs we need everywhere. I think that will help us in the future. So I want to just go back to the crisis, because the crisis happens, yes. and all of a sudden, Every hotel or is in a different country with different rules, different furlough schemes, different forms of compensation. You can no longer control this from the corporate centre as you would traditionally. You're absolutely right. And I, and I think this has been extremely good. This has proven in which countries, and I think most, uh, we had good talent in place because suddenly oh, things that were done previously, travelling, going, checking, inspecting, that was gone. And I think with the level of complexity you say, we have had to delegate very efficiently and very effectively to the local teams to, to work on the food loss schemes, helps from the government, uh, different systems. But I, I have to say that has been, first, extremely positive. Uh, why is because actually we had, I think we have always been a company very disciplined from an operational point of view, so they were able to, to cope with that. But second, I think in a crisis like this, you discover new talent. People that were kind of maybe hidden in the normal situation and then they come out in a crisis moment as great leaders and people who solve things as problem solvers that before they didn't have the opportunity to show. They always say that the lobby is the heart yes. of the hotel, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Well, the heart has started beating again. Yes. But how close was it? Well, I think, I think if you look at worldwide, there was a moment where we had nearly 35% of the, of the properties closed globally, but that's very different by region. I think in Europe there was a moment where nearly all the properties were closed. Uh, in the US, because of the profile of many hotels that are smaller family-run yeah. businesses, many of them stayed open, same than in India. Okay, so many hotels stayed open even with the, with the crisis. So I think at the maximum was 30-40% of them closed, and now today I would say that there's only one hotel all in, in all EMEA uh, closed, nearly none in the US. Did you ever get frightened? Was there a moment when you thought, this is getting away from me? This is getting away from me. I cannot see a way in which we can move back to revenue and profitability. No. I, it, it may sound arrogant or, or irreverent, but no. Where do you see us at the moment in terms of the crisis? Where are we at the moment? I think we have, uh, we, have we, we are possibly at the middle of it. Where we are today is if you look globally, we are kind of at 
50% globally of where we used to be in 19. So even you have differences by region, you know, Europe is at minus 80% or Asia, but US is much better. But I think maybe, I think we're in the middle of it. Different companies will take different approaches. We, we have been lucky with the support of our shareholders who have helped us and enabled us to keep doing the investments in IT, in expansion, and in refurbishment of, of, of the company for the last two years. The CEO of Radisson, 